Okay, so I think game plan for this series is I want to escape Knox County. I want a guy to go from basically zero to hero. So he's got a busted foot, a ridiculous deep wound on his thigh, had a whole lot more, started a burning building completely naked, and yeah, not really a lot going for him. But I kind of want to get out. So the place to the northern part of Louisville is basically like a, an escape. That whole bridge is calling our name to get out of here. And honestly, I'm surprised we've got to this point with this guy already. So my my expertise in this game doesn't cater to dealing with bad wounds or, or sneaky zeds. So I'm pleasantly surprised that we're alive. And I reckon with a start like this, a man could conquer the world. Okay, not the greatest start, but also not the worst. We're in a doctor's surgery, which is ideal. Um, uh, we have one bandage. Should we just rip it out? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get her wrapped. Beta blockers, disinfectant. Ah, damn it. Um, our left foot is busted. And we don't really have much of an escape right now, do we? Um, okay, that's ideal. That's actually very handy. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that foot. Absolutely nothing. But we have got somewhat of a weapon, and we are in a doctor's surgery. What better place to start? <laughs> okay, what about in here? More beta blockers. Absolutely ideal. Ah, banging. Let's just get that bandaged. Alright, there's nothing I can do about that foot. That foot is going to be an absolute nightmare for forever. I don't know how long fractures take to heal. But it's not going to be fun, I can tell you that much. Ah, that's also not fun at all. Okay, now we've got to somehow hobble our way out of here. Damn it. Ah, nice. Drink. Um. Let's just play the stealthy game, shall we? Come on, please be some painkillers. Painkillers, anything, please. Beautiful. Okay, slightly better start. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. It's Varun here, and today we are kicking off in quite possibly the worst state I've ever been in. Uh, it's not ideal. Why are we still losing health? Uh, drastically, too. Okay, that's better. That is better. But yeah, I thought after the uh, painful loss of our good old pal Seymour who was probably going to be the winner of the One Painful Year Challenge I reckon he could have had it in the bag if I just didn't make one very very silly mistake but onwards and upwards onto more fun and just playing exciting things and I mean what is better than watching a man just struggle to find hope in a world where there is no hope we're starting six months later uh, in Rosewood Is this Rosewood? Feels like Rosewood. Yeah, I think this might be Rosewood. Ah, it's completely burnt to a crisp. Ah, this could be ideal. 
But yeah, we're we're not in a good state at all. Um, we've got a busted foot. We're in a lot of pain. We have a needle, but we don't have thread, which means we can't stitch our deep wound. And yeah, we're pretty much getting hounded left, right, and centre by Zeds that we can't really take out because we're in a lot of pain. And uh, yeah, life's life's not really good, but at least we have some clothes. Finally. Alright, I need to work out if we can get upstairs, because if I can get a bed for the night, that would be lovely. I just don't think we're going to get it in here. I feel like these are all office buildings. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Zeds out there. Ah, here we go. we just got to be quiet. I do recognise this, though. I feel like this is... Ah, uh, looking outside, I don't think it is look, uh, Riverside, Rosewood. Oh, I can't tell. Okay, well this is going drastically better than the last guy. <laughs> so I did a, a little tester just to make sure the mods were all good. No errors, no bugs. And yeah, we did not last long at all. Whole lot of tins, but no tin opener. Always good. Got some chocolate and crackers. I'll save the crackers, absolutely. Maybe get all of those tins in that end unit just to play it safe. How long do fractures take to heal? Ah. Ah, yes. Rosewood. We're in Rosewood. Question is, can we get ourselves alive long enough to actually see Rosewood? Or... Is old Harvey Foss gonna bite the bullet? But yeah, we are playing as Harvey Foss. He's a mechanic. We're a slow healer. Not ideal. Thin skinned, weak stomach, prone to illness. Short sighted, slow reader, cat's eyes, outdoorsman, lucky, fast learner, and a herbalist. Ooh, a gun with no a gun case with no gun. Never good. And probably the first one I've ever seen. But yeah, I reckon I reckon is a pretty good, pretty good character to hold on to. I reckon if we can survive this busted foot, we might actually be okay. But it's getting through this first chunk of pain that's going to be a big old problemo. And I'm not going to lie to you, probably not not really ready for it. I've never actually dealt with fractures or breaks in this game before, so it's going to be a big learning curve. I feel like feel like I'm going to spend longer dying by being slowed down by a busted foot than anything else at all. Because, yeah, I'm not used to it. Not used to it at all. But I reckon I reckon this, could, this guy could be the winner. So I reckon we might have to spend the night in here, you know, just doing absolutely nothing. Try and loot all these rooms and see if we can actually get some food. So I've currently got many tins but no tin opener we can't use a scalpel to open stuff it's my biggest hatred oh yes a water bottle a water bottle yeah it's the thing that frustrates me most about this game i think is not being able to open tins with a knife oh tailoring ideal but yeah you can definitely open tins with a knife in real life i just wish Wish to God you could do it in game, but it's fine. Life goes on. Let's see what we got in the neighbouring apartments. Goes quite far down too. Perfect. Just as we're moaning about it. Can open us just around the corner. Orange soda, which is basically just another bottle of water. Now we're talking. Leave those ramen noodles behind. Still no painkillers though. Let's hope for a few more. Hammer, very nice find. Half expects to jump straight for a fall through the floor, but we're good. Thank God. Meat cleaver. Could actually get some spears out of this if we're lucky. We can track down a saw and just tear all this down. Could be smooth sailing before we know it. Nothing up around there. And last but not least, probably the one I'm going to hold out and sleep in. 
Uh, it's pretty banged up. It's a big hole in the wall. <laughs> is it worth sleeping in there? Will it get cold? I have no idea because I don't have a watch. Okay, last one to check. Nothing. Alright, I'm going to head back down the far end. Back to the first place we were in. Head there, get some sleep. Hopefully heal up a ton. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we're up. And hopefully not limping. That'd be ideal. Okay, I smashed through that tailor and book which is nice but we are still a limping man which does not help our situation at all it's not going to be good we have got a zippy mark downstairs which i would very very much like to get to but i think it's going to be a hell of a struggle that i'm not really ready for at all we've got a meat cleaver and a hammer two weapons that aren't really ideal to take out into the world especially a world that you don't know what lies beyond Apart from a whole lot of banging. Yeah, it's dark, it's snowy. I would like to get over there. But again, it's a big risk with a limp. Very, very big risk with a limp. Doesn't help that it's snowing either, which means our hypothermic tendencies are going to go through the roof. Yeah, not ideal. I think I might just poke my nose out into the main road okay zip mart is off the menu church opposite also off the menu we need to do something I mean I guess I could just stay in that room for a few days until our foot at least sorts itself up a tiny bit be nice if we can at least just stumble. You know, like walk without limping, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to spend another day in here. Hopefully. Oh, we do have antidepressants. Result. Okay. Well, I can just chill. Just going to chill in here and hope for the best. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I'm going to have to go out limping into the world. I don't really have a choice at this point. We're, we're still in a lot of pain from... Wow, well, one hour. Fractured foot is definitely not doing us any good. Uh, we also have a deep wound that I need to take care of. The only way to take care of that is to get some clothes, tear them all down, and get some thread. Because without that, I'm pretty screwed. We're just going to keep starting off at minus 25% every day. And that's, yeah, it's not ideal, is it? So annoyingly, we can't, we can't sneak. So there's no moving faster than what we're moving right now. This pace is it. We're stuck. Um, ah. wonder if we find any thread in there. I'd be surprised. I'm not even going to bother looking, I don't think. But yeah, we move incredibly slow. I think the only way to move faster is to move like that. Just give myself a double limp. Ah, brilliant. That's definitely drawn a few. There we go. So yeah, we need to get as many Zeds as we can get to get as many clothes as we can get to get as much thread as we can get. And without all of those all of those things in combination, we're gonna struggle. Ah, reading glass is nice. Should help our short sightedness. Brilliant. You can have your dirty rags. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. But yeah, we can't really wait like two weeks for this wound to heal up. So we've kind of just got to get on the move and hope for the best. So I probably won't branch off too far. Just because it's scary. <laughs> got pretty lucky with a spawn, to be fair. Rosewood's an ideal place to start with this much pain going on. But honestly, I didn't really expect to see him in this position from how we started. Oh, we can move faster. Okay, that makes life a little bit better. Let's just read one of those. Might even take that comic book. Let's just get some bit shifted. So we do not need this much crap just clouding our inventory. 
matches, lighter, water is a must. I will take those, just as a little light source, you know, case of emergency and all that. Beach, plunger, padlock, lunchbox. I don't know how that guy's been going ham on that door for ever. I don't know how it hasn't caved in yet. I wonder if I can get out to him. It's just going to be a terrible idea. Okay, this was my only other thought for uh, meds. First. A key. Very nice. First, let's tear up all of our clothes and hope for the best. Uh, tank top, rook clothing, all two. Is that it? That's not good. Yeah, meds and thread. Kind of hoping for in here, but it doesn't look like we're going to find any. Can't tear up a towel either, which honestly doesn't surprise me. Can we get anything from you? No. Can rest though. Yeah, no, we're not going to find anything in here. Okay, takes us back to the drawing board. Kind of debating heading over to this place. It's usually quite dangerous, but kind of fancy the risk. High risk, high reward, and all that. God, the fire managed to spread over here as well. A lot of busted in windows. Yeah, it doesn't really look good, does it? It doesn't fill you with confidence, anyway. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Basically just need food and meds. Sounds like a house alarm in the distance. You are not helpful at all. <laughs> I literally only wanna Ooh. Brilliant. It's not what not what I want at all. Yeah, I literally only wanna take out Zeds if they have clothes on. Nada. That looks like a hole in the fence. Maybe that's been burnt down. Maybe we just can't see it on the angle we're on. Can't please be someone upstairs. Please have some thread waiting for me. Ooh, is that an M14 straight off the bat? Very nice. Just tear all of that up. Ah, oh, belt too. Thank you, sir. Hey, and some thread. Very nice. Okay, we can finally get that wound stitched. One step close to heaven. One step close to a nice bulletproof vest. Tweezers. They would have been ideal. All right, let's get this puppy open. Was that a groin or a thigh? Deep wound, stitch, maybe disinfect, and then clean up that bandage. Oh, we don't actually need to do that, do we? Hey, nice. For a slow healer, he's healing them up pretty quick. Ah, we can crouch. Ah, oh, banging. That's so much better. We're actually one. Well, quite a few steps close to smashing this. M9 pistol. Guns are going to be quite heavy in this one. I get the feeling. Oh, you little beauty. 
Come to Papa. Oh my god. That's honestly a game changer. Absolute game changer. Oh man, I could not have asked for better there. Could not have got luckier. Almost scripted. <laughs> Alright, didn't want to go in there. Kind of want to get in that garage. Now that we can move. I'm a little bit more hopeful. Probably should, still shouldn't go diving into open garages though. Ah, oh, we're right on the edge of this as well, aren't we? There we go, that's why you don't dive into open garages. Take those. Yeah, we don't want to go dealing with that. Not at all. There's way, way too many Zeds. Oh, I do really need some gear. And if I can sneak in, sneak out. Hey, that's way better. Leather jacket. Very, very battered, but better than no jacket. And... Oh, yeah, we didn't have a watch at all. Nice. Come on, fellas. Give me a break. There we go. Lovely job. Okay, not good. Not good, not good, not good. You were meant to stay down. Ah, we're getting tired too. Okay, let's just let's just pull these back a touch. Get ourselves inside. Probably spend the night here. So we've got got a tiny bit of food and there's plenty of water. We should be good. I reckon we try and push into one of these come early morning. We did get a key for this, didn't we? Yeah. It's gonna be so nice not having to lock doors. <laughs> one less thing to worry about at least. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the night here and then Yeah, see you guys bright and early. Should probably have a quick loot up here as well. Can't remember if I did or not. Ah, yeah, I did. Okay. All right, bedtime. Night. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking limited amount of cars. All of the uh, pumps start with pretty much no gas. I've set it to, like, super low. So chances are we're not really going to find a lot. So I reckon we could be hoofing it a lot. And I think it could be quite fun to see if a character starting in this guy's state can kind of take on take on the world I reckon he could hack it I reckon he's he's already got the minerals to be able to get through it we just need to keep ourselves alive long enough in the starting bit to be able to actually get anywhere which I think could be the biggest issue I'm just more than glad that that wound was cleared up on our foot so it's still splintered we're still still playing a brave game we still need to keep ourselves somewhat looked after 24 7 otherwise we could set it right back off but i'd say episode one i think we're on like day four it's a pretty good start yeah with a uh, build 42 on the loom i reckon we're probably not too far off it i want a series with an end goal that isn't going to take an entire year <laughs> and i feel like this could be the one yeah, this is not looking ideal. I like that weird little thing that they're stuck on though. That's helping a ton. It's almost like a constant trickle feed. Get on, fellas. Stay down, don't think about it. Grass, just thinking about it. She is really thinking about it. Any more for any more? There we go. Come on, pal. Uh, this is the most milked thing I've ever seen, but I love it. Let's clear out the rest. Okay, we're pretty smooth sailing. There's still a lot of Zeds down there. This is a terrible place to start, but... I don't know. I reckon he can hack it. 
Hey, how burnt out this place is too. I was not expecting that fire to spread this far, but it done well. Did very well. I feel like it's taken out like half the town. Uh, we want to go sneaky. Sneakier than sneaky. I already don't like this. <laughs> That's what we've drawn one too many. Get on, fella. Easy does it. One bonk away. Can we get one big bonk? Ah. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> there we go. You get there in the end. Only on the fourth bonk. Let's just take some beta blockers. Let's sort out this fear. Ah, brilliant. Back to good old reliable. Oh, I'm so happy we found this. Oh, I think top of the list is Rosewood Fire Station. Bound to be some axes there. Uh, the police station would be a nice touch. Um, from there, probably the Gigamart also be a nice touch so if we can if we can get some food sorted straight off the bat that'd be ideal and then from there I'm not too sure haven't really thought that far ahead but the closer I can get to Louisville early on the better I reckon so if we can get pushing our way through there maybe stop at each each hot spot on the way you know tag all the gun stores tag a few bookstores so we can get ourselves at least a little bit geared up and hopefully track down the vehicle too. We are a mechanic, so I'm not too stressed about conditions and things like that. But yeah, the sooner we can get something locked down, the better. Uh, yeah, it probably wasn't the best idea, was it? <laughs> there we go. Let's just top that back up. Mutton chat. What you got for us, game? Oh, you beauty. Oh, they just... Oh, they're sat on the worktop. That makes so much sense. Ah, I just realised I was grabbing cigarettes. We don't need any of those. Gonna have so much space for a... Uh, a what do you call it? Um, fanny pack. It's not gonna be full of cigarettes this time. It's gonna be wonderful. Let's just check out the next rooms. Another bandage. That's the only, only win we've had in this building. But that's okay. We got a little bit of food out of it, which is, is more than enough, really. Can't really complain. Let's get that on our left wrist. Probably ditch the scalpel now as well. I don't think we really need it. And I guess a beer. Beer wouldn't be the worst thing. Any books? No, we check that. Uh, I guess we could read that book. Clear up the unhappiness there we go beautiful beautiful and yeah the rest is all good that house is fully intact could head over there try and check out this garage first whether we find anything or not so it's all burnt out so it's a bit a bit of a sticky one come on fellas Lovely job. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, I might have done a might have done a silly metal bar. And there's a big old spare tire there, wasn't it? Come on, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. Don't go pulling anything like that, on us boy. Uh, right thigh. Okay, no arm damage, which is good. I'm also going to keep my eye out for some duct tape too. I can duct tape this up when we're done with it. That'd be more than ideal. Normally we don't really have the skills to be able to repair it properly, but even a little 25% bonus would be good. Lovely. Uh, should we check out the neighbour? Very risky hopping into a garden like that. Do not recommend, but it paid off, so I'll take it. It's the little wins. 
Let me get one big swing for you, sir. And one big swing for you. I love how sophisticated he looks, even in these trying times. Hairbrush behind his ear. He looks like a classy man, doesn't he? Classy man with killer instincts. Hey. More thread, the better. Ah, big silly, big silly, big silly, big silly. Okay, big silly averted. <laughs> Get on, fellas. Get yourselves outside. Let's do this. I'm ready for you all. I think I might have just gone back into sneak mode. One, two, it's got to be a three. I'm ready for you, three. Four, five, and one big swing for number six. See you, son. Ooh, untapped map. Very nice start. Louisville. I'll we'll definitely keep that in mind, but that's not going to be a today job, that's for sure. I mean, I've got scissors. Any leather or denim? Rip all of that clothing. So I do also need some layers too. If we're going to hit the road, I'd like to be as warm as possible. Kind of glad I didn't go all out tearing them all up. Yeah, more the better. Wouldn't mind jumping straight on the old uh, Taylor and bandwagon. Just trying to find the words. <laughs> and last but not least, beautiful. Okay, all right. Well, I think I think I might leave it in the safety of this garden. So I'm probably gonna probably gonna use up some of these if I can. Oh, we got no thread. Is the problem? Very, very low on thread. But we got a few denim strips that could save our life. Definitely repair up our jacket. That's pretty banged up. And yeah, I mean, we should. Should really be all good. And we need to track down the needle. Annoyingly, that sewing kit didn't have one, but it's fine. Plenty of houses to search. Whole lot of life left, left in the world. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, hopefully. Stick around for the next one. Peace.